just before the Germans entered the uh, occupied Colomia, my sister, Lola, worked in a city hall as a laboratory technician. And there she met Albin Thiel. Uh, he fell in love with her. And once Lola invited him home for a dinner or lunch, and he liked her and he liked her cooking. She was a terrific cook. And he befriended our whole family. And when the Germans came occupied, he continued to come. And then he took over the kind of, uh, uh, to supply us with food. He used to take something to sell, like a tablecloth or, or a cutlery, take him to the market and bring food for it. And this lasted uh, till February 1942. Now I have to tell you that Albin was a German and he became like a member of our family. He took care of us. He provided all the food till 1942. In 1942, when the order came to go to ghetto, there was from one day to the other, the order came, you have to go to the ghetto. Suddenly, Albin appears at the door with a, a cart on four wheels and starts to load our things and take and push the, the, the cart to the ghetto. He found us a place in the ghetto, on the edge of the ghetto. Next to us was the fence. He befriended the the guy, the Ukrainian guy living on the other side, on the Aryan side, as we used to go. Between them, they opened one of the, uh, de of the boards, and Albin started to crawl through the board and bringing us food to the ghetto. He was poor. He didn't have money, and we didn't have money. So here is Albin taking from Jewish families a, the shawls, a colorful woolen shawls that the peasants and the Hutzels are the mountain people, people from the mountain, uh, used to wear for special festive occasion to go to church for weddings. They were big, huge, colorful shawls, woolen shawls. They were very expensive. Uh, we, the Jews, had to uh, give away all the silver, all the gold, all the jewelry, anything precious, even all the fair. So we had very little what we could sell to, to, for food. So Albin was, the, but not the shawls. Nobody thought that these shawls should. So people who had stores with the shawls had the, quite a lot of them. Albin used to take them ride his bicycle to high mountains to Zabi, which was about 100 kilometers driving on high mountains, uh, trade them for butter, for, for cheese, brinza, what it's called, it's like feta here, and kukurudjanka, with cornmeal, on his uh, backpack, backpack, carrying and on the bicycle, bring them to ghetto. Half was going to the people who had the shawls and half for our family. And this is how he was supported us. 